Are you working in Final Cut Pro and need to trim your clips quickly and efficiently? Well, you're in luck because we're about to show you how to do it like a pro. First things first, let's get that blade tool ready. You can either press B on your keyboard or find it in the Timeline Tools menu. Once it's active, your cursor turns into a snazzy pair of scissors and it automatically skims over individual clips when you hover. Trimming is a breeze. Just left click on any spot and voila. Your clip is neatly sliced in two. Now if you need to use the blade tool temporarily, press and hold down B and trim away. When you release the B key, it'll seamlessly switch back to your last used tool, which is usually the select tool. But what if you want to trim multiple clips simultaneously? No problem. Just switch to the blade tool by pressing B, then hold down Shift and watch your cursor transform into a double-lined scissor superhero. Now when you make a cut, it'll slice through the entire stack of clips. But perhaps you only want to trim specific clips within a stack. Easy peasy. First, select multiple clips. You can do this by holding down the command key, then clicking on the clips you want to cut. Place your skimmer over the point and press the Command B shortcut. Just make sure your blade isn't hovering over a specific clip or you'll end up with a solo cut. Now here's where it gets a bit more advanced. But before we dive into that, how about showing some love by giving us a thumbs up? It helps us know we're doing a great job and helps others discover this video. Thanks a bunch. Lastly, let's talk about the Blade Tools speed cutting feature. To use it, select a clip and make sure your skimmer is active by pressing the keyboard shortcut S. Then position the skimmer where you want to cut and then hit Shift B. This magical tool divides your clip into two sections without creating separate clips, allowing you to tweak the speed on either side. Adjusting the speed is a breeze. Just drag the little vertical lines at the clip ends. And if you need transitions between different speeds, that transparent gray bar between the clips has got you covered. Drag it to make transitions longer or shorter. And there you have it. Now that you've mastered cutting and trimming clips using the blade tool, it's time to level up and learn how to cut audio in Final Cut Pro. We'll show you all the tricks, including a lightning fast keyboard shortcut. Click here to dive in.